God, and you may come to the altar. Shall we pray? Our Father, who is extraordinary, who is wonderful and great, the Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, hear our prayer. Turn an ear toward us, O oh Father, for you are great and greatly to be praised. You're a good God. You're a great God. You're a caring God. You're our Father. You're the God that we can call upon whatever it is. You are there for us. A Father that never leaves us or forsakes us or forgets us for one minute. For you are great. And we just want to lift your name this morning. What a good God we serve. Lord, we are here to praise your name. Oh God, hear our prayers. Lord, we ask now that you would have mercy upon us, that we now humbly confess our sins, God, for we have come short of your glory. But right now, God, we ask you to forgive us. Lord, hear us. Lord, do something about our situation. Oh, God, we give you thanks. For, Lord, you are wonderful. You woke us up this morning. God, you sent us out for another day's journey. God, you changed our situation when we talked to you. And, God, we just want to say thank you. You are a provider, God. You are a keeper, God. We just want to thank you, God. We want to thank you for every little thing, seen and unseen, that you have protected us from. God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Lord, we ask a blessing upon the fathers this morning, God. Just bless them in a special way. Strengthen them. Give them a clear mind and a clear heart. Lord, we love you. God, we praise you. Lord, bless the Friendship Baptist Church, each and every member, those who are sick and those who are in five prison walls. God, provide for them. Help them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, just help us through our situations each and every day, God. Just help them. Be there with us, Lord. Provide for us, Lord. Bless us, Lord. Be with the pastor as he brings the message this morning, God. For we are grateful for Pastor Miles, and we thank you. Lord, in the name of Jesus, hear our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. We can give that after the Lord. One more time. Start to be saying, God, great.
we may hear your voice again, God, because as we hear your voice, our minds are made all the better. But we thank you for being the God who sees us and ministers to our needs, speak down to our hearts. In the name of Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Step if you should read together the word of God in the book of First Kings, chapter number 19. Beginning in verse number one and concluding in verse number five. You'll find it on the desktop. In First Kings chapter number 19. Begin to say. Pressing through the pressure on the desk, I right there in the center. I'm talking about that dead eagle. Look at your neighbor and say, Hey, neighbor. <laughs> Look at your other neighbor and say, So good to see you. <laughs> Turn around and put your neighbor behind and say, Neighbor. <laughs> you have a good this morning.
through the pressure. Amen. Last week I talked about living your best life. Yeah. But I'm a realist. And depression can get each and every one of us. Matter of fact, he was a Midwest lawyer who was so depressed that he wanted to take his life away, but yet he told him that he had significance he needed to hang in there. He literally fought through all the things that he was going through, and because he fought through what he was going through, he was able to sign the Emancipation Proclamation of President as Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln went through a serious bout of depression. And I am the person that understands that all of us in here at one time or another, I don't know how saved, sanctified, and holy most feel you are, you go deal with some stuff to get the best of you. You go find yourself having to deal with some unique circumstances, and sometimes those unique circumstances, if we don't put them in perspective, they can get the best of us. It does not mean that you're a weak Christian. It does not mean that you're an unholy believer. It means that you are living life, and sometimes as you live life, life can get the best of you. And I know that some people don't like to talk about their inner feelings because we were taught as children, we were taught as people who had been kissed by the sun, there's something wrong with talking to a counselor. And I submit to you today, there's nothing wrong with having Christ and a counselor because sometimes life can get the best of you. I want to talk about somebody today who is what we consider to be a super prophet. Elijah was a super prophet. Matter of fact, he was such a super prophet until it was, it was time for him to die. He did not die like everybody else. God literally allowed a channel of fire to come down and get him, which means that Elijah had a strong faith. He had a faith that was, uh, that was, was basically unpenetrable, but life got the best of him. And sometimes the life gets the best of you. It gets you right when you have the best moments of your life. Have you ever been there before when it seems like life could not get any better, but all of a sudden it turns upside down? You wake up singing that it is a joyous day before you go to bed tonight. You wonder why hell has broken loose in your life. That's what Elijah is facing. Chapter number 18, chapter number 18 is full of fanfare. Chapter number 18, he literally brings 450 prophets of Baal and he says to them, we're going to have a showdown on Mount Carmel and see what God is bringing. God, he says to them, I'm going to give y'all the chance to go first. What we're going to do is we're going to sacrifice an animal and the God who rains down our fire will be the God that we worship and adore. In chapter number 18, the people came out, 450 prophets of Baal. Came out and began to call him bell to rain down the property. Here's the problem. Anytime you got a God that does not have ears, you're in trouble. That's right. Anytime you have a God that don't understand what you're saying, you're in trouble. And the Bible says that they called on their God and Elijah began to make fun of them and said that. He said, maybe your God is not here. And maybe your God can he cry a little bit loud. And they cried that. And Bell did show up. All of a sudden, he says, now it's my turn. And I want to make sure that you all don't think that y'all done something. Or there's a residue of fire from your God. He said, fill the trench around my karma. And once you dig the trench, fill the trench with water. And then I'm going to call on the name of Jehovah God. Can't y'all see them digging this trench around the mountain? Can't y'all see them putting water in the trench? And all of a sudden, Elijah began to call on the name of God. And the Bible said that God showed up with fire. Not only did he take the burnt offering, but he lived the water up around the situation. That, and you don't get excited about nothing else. You ought to thank God. That, and he specializes in things that seem impossible. That, and he knows how to show up when anybody else can't show up. That, and now Jezebel is mad. She's so mad until that she puts a death threat out on Elijah and she let it be known that if I'm going to take him out and guess what Elijah does? That, he goes from having a high in chapter 18 they have a low in chapter 19. Have you ever been there? Uh, what well, chapter 18 of your life seemingly couldn't get any better? Uh, and chapter 19 seemed like it couldn't get any worse. Uh, chapter 18, you're clapping your hands. Uh, and chapter 19, you got your head crying in your hands. Uh, chapter 18, you're praising God. Uh, but chapter 19, you wonder what God is up to. Uh, chapter 18, you celebrate what God has done. Uh, chapter 19, you don't know what God is up to. Uh, chapter 18, you feel like you're not but chapter 19, you feel like you're under the bed. Chapter 18, you feel like doing what you need to do. But chapter 19, you don't want to be. I wish I had some real folk you ain't afraid to say. 
because I can't live my best life when I don't deal with the stuff that's dealing with me. Yeah. You can try to fake in front. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, you can't fool your, yourself. Am I talking to anybody there? Yeah. Had a smile on your face. Yes, sir, yes, sir. But you had tears. Yeah. In your heart. Yeah. When you try to look like things are all right. But the truth be told, you was doing everything you can to hold it together. It's men's day. But there's some things that your masculinity can't match. Yeah? You can put on mascara, uh -huh. but it don't hide what you, what you see. Yes, sir. Because life can't be rough. Him first thing that he wants to know, he wants to know that in this life, you can deal with some stuff that is an acknowledged strength. Yeah. Jezebel says, just like you kill them, I'm going to kill you. It is a true threat. Yes. Sir. Jezebel was something. Yes. Matter of fact, you heard of Mary's? You heard of Elizabeth? You heard of Devils? But you ain't never heard of nobody. And then right now, name that child. Jezebel. I, I'm trying to get y'all to see that if this threat that she gave you wasn't any kind of threat, that it was a real threat. And I want to help somebody to understand today that the reason why depression can come to us is because we're dealing with some real stuff. Can I tell y'all that? COVID is a real threat. I, I know we don't talk about it as much as we used to, but there's some underreporting, which means that it's just as bad today as it was two years ago. That's And it just didn't show up? Yes, of course. You wanted to laugh? Yes. But you couldn't? Right. You know what it means to be overwhelmed? To be overwhelmed means that something has took my oomph away. And I don't know what it is. Because all of us got different oomphs. But when I get overwhelmed, my oomph has been taken away. You mean to tell me, child of God? Yeah. Your uncle? Yeah. Get taken away? Yeah. Yes. Saint who believes in God, sometimes you don't feel like waving your hands to God? Yeah. yeah. See, at the end of the day, the reason why a lot of people let pressure break them is because you don't acknowledge the fact that I do get tired. Yes, you gotta acknowledge. I get frustrated. Absolutely. Now, matter of fact, you know one of the great songs of our times then? Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on. Y'all yeah. catch that? Yes. Because sometimes, like, you feel like sitting still. And you need God to lead you on. And let you stand because I am. We will have to preach somebody. I'm tired. I am weak. And I am. Listen, I ain't trying to preach to sophisticated folk. I'm trying to preach to folk that's going through depression. But at the end of the day, that's COVID and depression. And I'm going to be like that. Do y'all not know that this is the this generation we live in? That's a terrible generation. Somebody's been killed. 
that gets the best of me. Right. Oh, yeah. talk about that. There's some things I can handle. Yes. But too much, I want to can't handle, can get the best of me. When, when you get death after death, that can get the best of me. When you get disappointment after disappointment, that can get the best of you. And when you find yourself being overwhelmed, here's what happens next. I begin to feel like I've already seen the outcome. Look what Elijah does. And y'all want y'all to see him wait. Because Elijah is a super prophet. But he went through something. Elijah, at this point, just that is after him. And he just watched God. I mean, y'all see it. That's right. He just watched God. Yes. Take out 450 people. Lift up water from the altar. But Jezebel said, I'm going to get you. And all of a sudden, his whole demeanor changes. Here's what happened to imagination. If you expect the worst, yes, Lord. the worst comes. If the doctor says, I see something I don't like, and you start playing with cancer, Chances are, he gonna say the same thing. I have to understand that my imagination can work for me, right? Or it can work against me, and I choose to be positive. Matter of fact, I don't care how things get, how bad things get. It's always some positive. Right. right. Matter of fact, I talked about Dr. Malone yesterday. Matter of fact, I had, I had just finished talking with Wendy in the yard. And uh, I went to crank my car. I washed my car. My car was shining. But it wouldn't stop. Why? 
where your life work is burning up. He said, all right, I ain't tripping on that. Right. He said, because the fire destroyed my mistake, I gotta pray you dead and make it over. See, in this life, you gonna make some mistake. But if you thank God for another day, you got a chance to do it over. I wish I had somebody in the brain to say that. I'm not gonna give up because I messed up yesterday. I'm gonna be trying to think because this is the day God has given me. That. I'm not gonna be down on myself. But then his next thing, he got these acknowledged threats. But then, because of where he was, he had some awkward times. Yeah. I mean, imagine this. Awkward, yes. Chapter 18. Yes. God allows you to do the impossible. Oh. Chapter 19, you feel like nothing is possible. Chapter 18, you feel the presence of God. Chapter 19, you feel the absence of God. Chapter 18, you got a reason to celebrate. Chapter 19, you won't cry. But for those awful times. Yes. Let me see if I can make a plan. Do y'all remember as we went through this rainy couple of weeks ago? I don't know if y'all saw it one day. One day, the sun was shining and it started raining. Now, if you're from the south, yeah, yeah. yeah. they said the best devil is beating his wife. <laughs> but at the end of the day, sunshine and rain don't supposed to coexist. But we saw sunshine, rain. And I stopped by to tell you, you need sunshine. And the rain. Uh, I am an American. 
And I did get branded when I crossed the line. I got a brand on my leg. And y'all, when I tell you, when it was healing, it hurt. I never forget. My sister and I, we stayed together as we was in college. And I told my sister, I said, I wish I had something to cut my leg off. Yeah. Now, how crazy is that? Because the pain yeah. is going to heal. But how would I feel if God gave me what it asked for? Or some of them be shocked right there. You don't think God would ask for something in your life that God would give you. You thought you wanted it at the time. And God would give it to you. You get mad at God. You don't think God would give you what I asked for. I was just saying the phrase that I thank God. And he didn't listen to me that time. And then he moved and he said, you request. And there's an unfailing of reality. 18 us. 19 adjectives. Here it is. Believers sometimes believe that we don't have to drink from bitter families. But I hate to tell you, you're going to have to go through some stuff. Matter of fact, I thank God that God is providential, but He knows how to keep secrets. Right. right. He's looking ahead, but He's telling me. Because if you knew some of the stuff that you would have to go through, that you would lose your mind right now. And so God, He allows us to go through the thing. You gotta thank God. You've been through some damage here. Matter of fact, I'm talking to real folks that understand as a believer or not.
and sits under a tumor tree. Now, if you read too fast, you can miss it. He runs, and he sits under a juniper tree. Yes. Now, y'all got to understand, the juniper tree is not the most plenteous tree in that area. The fig tree is. But he runs in his depression. And frustration yeah. and sits under and all the trees under a juniper tree. Yes, yes. I, I, I see you thinking. He like he like Red about to give me something right here. I, I see you thinking. <laughs> and guess what Red is about to give you? And all the trees. Yes. He could have sat up under. Yes. He goes. Sits under yes, he does. a juniper tree. That's right. I'm messing with y'all now. Because <laughs> y'all want me to tell you why he went to the juniper tree. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you. But I'm going to make sure y'all tune in. Not all the tree. Yeah, yeah. He runs and sits under a juniper tree. That's what he does. Here's the first thing. Whenever you're running from God. God is always running after you. God understands your frustration and he doesn't leave you in your frustration. So everything God does, God does it because God is trying to teach you a lesson. Okay, I, I'm building this up so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Um, in death, God is speaking. Some of y'all heard me do this illustration before. The casket comes from a Latin word that means hope chest. A hope chest. And a hope chest is what, back in the day, when someone gave you something that was valuable, you put it over in the hope chest. Matter of fact, our ancestors love brooches. And if grandma had a brooch, she passed it down to mom. Mama passed it down to daughter, and they kept it, but they always kept it in there. Hope chest. And the cast comes to the word hope chest, which is something that is that. Yes. Then when we leave church, we go to the cemetery. That's right. In the cemetery, living comes to the word that means sleeping room. So you take that which is valuable to a sleeping room. Yes. And I do that because I expect that which is valuable to be woke up. Yeah. Jesus is always teaching. So here it is now, Elijah is under a juniper tree. Here's the first thing about a juniper tree. Juniper tree is flexible and strong. Matter of fact, weapons, archery weapons, was made from the juniper tree because it was flexible and strong. Then the juniper tree produces fruit because anything that's healthy produces fruit. So I'm strong, I'm flexible. And I produce fruit. But the fruit that the juniper tree produces is not a sweet fruit. It is a spicy fruit. And we all know that you don't have a good life. You need to have some spice. Some spice. So all the places he runs, he runs to a place that's strong, flexible, producing fruit. And spice. All I'm trying to tell you right now is the next time you feel like you need to get the pressure, you need to find your tumor between because tumor between will remember you that you are strong because guess what? You are flexible because guess what? At the end of the day, if you don't be in some time, you're going to eventually bust and God said, you are strong, you are flexible, you produce the fruit, and you are so much spice to life. God said, I give you reason to survive. Let me give you all this last one that I love you. 
He wants to get through the depression. He's at the place where he can't come through. And guess what he does? He falls to sleep. Here it is. Before I can take back what I lost, I got to get strengthened for the journey. That's right. One of the worst things that you can do is work yourself to death. Everybody needs to sleep. Scars 
And she would go to town, town, selling the stuff. But how she would go to a town is she would take a bunch of sticks. She'd throw the sticks up in the air. Wherever the majority of the sticks was pointing, that's where she went. One day this little boy was seeing a woman and throw the sticks up in the air. He watched her throw the sticks up one time and the sticks came down. She got the sticks back up, threw them up again. They came down, got them up again. She threw them up again and came down. Little boy said, ma'am, I hate to ask you a question. But why do you keep throwing the sticks up, picking them up, and throwing them back up? She said, well, son, the sticks tell me where I want to go. And where the sticks are pointing is where I don't want to go. And this guy, you ain't going to always go when you want to go. You got to trust God to lead you. Sisters, depression means I got to fight through it, even if it's not what I want to face. Here's my last point I give. When I'm getting through depression, I got to arise. It's in the text. The angel allows Elijah to sleep. But then he says to him, get up right. and eat right. and go. Here's the thing about life. As long as you want to stay stuck, yeah. you'll stay stuck. Right. Right. God is not going to do for you what you want to do for yourself. Right. You got to learn how to get up Okay, no, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Um, Scott is hard headed sometimes. I told Scott Williams. Uh, he's talking about basketball game. And I said, listen to me. Go to the state, ask what you see. This week ago. Yeah. I said, go to the state with women. In six games. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Go to step one yeah. in six games. Can I tell you why? They had a better rebound game. <laughs> <laughs> you just miss your shot. Yeah, ain't nobody shooting and missing. It's about rebound because when you rebound, you can hang it and get anybody play down to that class. I don't miss some stuff in life.
Would you play the hackers? I come to church, but I still need help. I pray, but I feel like they're unanswered. Children crazy, spouse crazy, job crazy, gas crazy, everything's crazy. And I want to know, God, will you get me through what I'm going through? If I'm talking to you, come on to the altar. If you want to sit where you are, that's fine because I believe that the altar is a place of sacrifice. And my whole, my whole intention today was to lift some people, was to liberate some people. Because I've been crying. Yeah. Somebody 
we've been celebrating 98 years. We begin to have a theme that's going to be more information coming. We want our church anniversary to be a great time of celebration. We're going to celebrate the wonderful things that God is doing in the life of His children. We want to give praise to Brother Troy Roberts and his family is going to be the shadow of death. What we'll pray for a family of Amonia uh, Sauber. Oh, she's still sorry. She passed away this past Thursday. A few will be here on Saturday, uh, 10 to 12, I think is going to be asked. So we want to lift that family up in prayer. Remember, we're in Bible study, we're in the sanctuary on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock. We're talking about courage to be a believer because sometimes in this life, we need some strength to help us do what we're doing. We're on the prayer call at 11 o'clock with our seats and saints. We're in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is a wonderful book. Isaiah is teaching us so many things for us to focus on not only now, what God is seeking to do in our future. So again, we ask you to come on back to Bible study because again, if we want to be strengthened in all this Christian journey, we don't have what we need to get through what we're going through. We need the Word of God. Amen. Any birthday has been celebrated from this day, the 19th and 25th of June. No word of hit this in the house, but you had a relationship, we were to see your faces for places and visitors in the house. Or if this one of those who are listening online and those who may not want to show the channel. Amen. Today, before all these people, I just want to say how sweet it is and that um, I will marry you all over again and this is what the day represents. Another wedding, another uh, many 26 years with you and God bless you, I love you. How, how sweet it is. I just want to say I love you too and I love you again, my husband. For 26 years and many, many more, and you brought a lot of adventure in my life. Appreciate it. Thank you. And we come up with one thing, we come up with a big one to reaffirm his love for the Friday. And we didn't want to do it, it was either at 9 o'clock, it was either at 11 o'clock. It was at 9 o'clock, they said the seal about last night, they wanted to sleep. I'm in the bed, I'm in the bed. I'm working on my second career. Y'all yeah. right. <laughs> hold hands together. I'm going to pray God's blessings on you for then and for now because. 
as you're moving towards the golden stages of life, you're moving towards the golden stages of your life. Because in this time, life and things change. A lot of change, it's about the time it's all of us. Just like you all have been 26 years and strength of years, we pray to God for 26 years more. The same strength of being in and giving it to me right now. The same love. Let me finish my talk, man. You didn't give no kisses last night. And the same God that bless you all to wonderful children, the loving family. The God will continue to allow that love to radiate if you all continue to example. But then if you all say 26 years don't have that much. Yeah. And for you all to be there, we thank God for your love. We thank God for how you all have pressed through some stuff. <laughs> Just like we did with you all 26 years ago. May he be with you all 26 years more. So we continue to love God. And this book says the trick did not believe you. Where you go out go. Where you lie down out. Your people should be my people, and your God should be my God. Now you can